Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is, what is the difference between data owners and data stewards? Now, to be honest, I'm surprised I haven't been asked this question before and that I hadn't thought to do a video for, on it anyway. It's quite a straightforward question, but I can understand from a quick Google um, on, on either term, it's really hard to tell what the difference between them are. And I think some of this is caused because some people do generally use the titles interchangeably. And if you've read any of my blogs or listened to any of my other videos, you'll know that actually I don't mind what you call the role, is what people do that is really important. And that is um, useful in a practical term when you're doing data governance in your organization, but it does create some confusion when it comes to people people sharing their views on the internet. And if you're just starting out, it's very easy to get confused with the diverse range of opinions and advice that you will find on, on the internet. So for the sake of clarity, I always use the term data owner to mean a very senior stakeholder who's accountable for one or more data sets. Now, this will be both the quality of it and for understanding what it means, making sure there's definitions for it, making sure that it's managed appropriately. Now, they need to be very, very senior, otherwise they're not gonna have the authority and the budget and resources to actually undertake that role properly. Now, in my view, that means that if they're that senior, they're not going to have probably the time, the inclination, or to be fair, the subject matter expertise in that data to actually do the activities on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is where data stewards come in. So I always encourage my data owners to appoint one or more data stewards to help them with the day-to-day -day doing of their data governance activities. So a data steward will be a subject matter expert in that data and they will be the people that would be drafting the definitions to go in your data catalog on your data glossary. And, you know, they will be the person perhaps investigating data quality issues and actioning and reviewing uh, data quality reports. But all of this would then go to the data owner for approval. So I personally think you need both unless you're a very small organization and then you probably don't want both data owners and data stewards. You'd get very, very messy and complicated with an awful high percentage of your employees being data owners or data stewards, in which case I would probably bring the seniority of the data owner down a little bit and only have maybe data owners. But, you know, it's something to bear in mind. I like having both roles where possible um, because you get that seniority and accountability in place, plus the subject matter expert of the data steward who's actually doing the day-to-day -day work for you. I do hope that's clarified that for you. Um, if you have found it useful, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing this video on your choice of social media. As you probably know, doing data governance can be a very frustrating and bewildering place to be. And if we can get that message out there and help as many people as possible be successful at this role, the world will be a better place. So I really appreciate your help with that. And if you've got a question that you would like me to answer in a future video, just email it in to questions at nicolarascom.com.